I describe Buddhism as a philosophy, not a faith, because there's no Godhead in Buddhism. Buddha gave the world a road, not a place. Nirvana is the end of the road. It's like no other place on earth or place you can conceive of after life through any of the world's faiths. Nirvana is the transcendence of all suffering. The word nirvana means blowing out or quenching. When a flame is blown out, the illumination immediately ceases, even though the warmth and burn remain for a time. When a thirst is quenched, satisfaction replaces yearning. Heaven is a place. Hell is a place. Shemaim in Hebrew translates as the skies above and refers to the dwelling place of God. The Abrahamic faiths focus on our final resting place as an external location different from every place on earth. But the Buddhist concept of nirvana isn't a place in the sense of a place with God. The egress from hell, the end of suffering, this is why I recommend that all religious people study Buddhism and add its philosophy to their understanding of their scripture. The way to nirvana enhances every way to God with peace of mind. Judaism separates good from evil as two distinct fruits. Taoism explains the paradox between yin and yang. Christianity discerns right from wrong as love and hate, and Islam advocates for good, better, and best through 114 similes for God. But the path to nirvana leads to the peace of mind that signals the end of work. My videos describe how to understand the workings of the mind. The mind can be described metaphorically, symbolically, and analytically through symbol similes. The mind can be observed through contemplation and peace of mind. The resting of the mind can be achieved too. For modern thinkers, it's necessary to find ways to rest our mind to relieve the drudgery of our complex life. If thinking is shifting your gears into drive, then loving moves you into reverse and believing shifts you into low. Accessing neutral is accomplished through contemplation, and the peace of mind brings you to park through meditation, so you can turn off the engine if you so wish and enjoy the silence of being in your vehicle with nothing to do and nowhere to go. Good thoughts. We'll talk again tomorrow.